I'm here to introduce to you a uh, remarkable invention uh, that will um, accelerate the healing speed of wounds, infected wounds. And uh, we call this rapid wound healing. And it's not just a vision, it's actually here. We have a product that exists, looks like this, we have it in several sizes. We have uh, the ability to manufacture this in high volume and very cost efficiently. I'm Jens Hansson, uh, the executive chairman of Ecosix. I've been the executive chairman for two weeks, so if I don't have answers to all of your questions, um, please uh, have some, some um, mercy on me. Uh, <clears throat> So what are we going to do with this fantastic product? Well, initially, uh, we're going to use it for uh, treating uh, chronic uh, wound care patients. Uh, chronic wounds is um, a massive problem in the world. Uh, if you have a, a chronic wound, um, you, you will have it for days, weeks, and months. A chronic wound is actually defined as a wound older than four weeks. Uh, and it requires treatment uh, very, very often, like two to three times a week. Uh, <clears throat> there are tens of millions of, of patients out there, and uh, they have very few treatment uh, alternatives that really work. Uh, the current therap therapies are, are, are uh, pretty poorly effective. Uh, because the wounds are uh, often colonized by bacteria. You need to get rid of the bacteria to treat it. So you often provide it with, with um, uh, antibiotics, and biotics are unfortunately not very efficient in this space of the body. The cost for providing treatment of these wounds is astronomical. In the US alone, uh, in 2023, you had a cost of $28 billion. That included not only the cost for, for the, the wound care products, but also the, uh, the cost for, for clinicians, etc. Uh, however, this provides a massive uh, market opportunity. Uh, we have uh, estimated it to about $5 billion globally. And that is for the human care market. On top of this, we also have the animal care market, which is another roughly half a billion dollars. And where does Corsix come into this? Well, we have uh, developed an advanced wound dressing, the one I just showed you. And in vivo studies uh, that we have performed on uh, highly infected uh, wounds on pigs, inflicted on pigs, we have managed to uh, accelerate the healing uh, of these wounds by up to four times compared to standard of care or using uh, standard collagen wound dressings. <clears throat> so what is, the, what is the secret to this uh, invention? Well, we've taken um, a collagen one uh, cell matrix and prepared it in a very special way. And then we've added uh, some uh, elements of collagen-6 into it. Um, this, this means that we have only used uh, naturally occurring elements from the body itself. So as you would imagine, uh, the outcome is a product that is uh, uh, non-cytotoxic in most cases. Uh, the collagen-1 matrix uh, shows a very strong resemblance to, uh, to dermis in the body. And that is due to the way we have manufactured it. So it has a very, very special structure. Uh, and uh, by adding the um, peptides that we found in collagen-6, we have been able to promote uh, the cellular growth speed, which can be seen here in these uh, uh, microscope, uh, microscopic pictures. Uh, and we have also been able, using the other peptide, to uh, increase uh, or adding an antimicrobial effect to the product. We're not the only ones uh, supplying advanced wound care uh, products for treating chronic wounds. There are quite a few uh, other products out there. Uh, and the 
uh, but the uniqueness of our product is that it's faster than uh, everything else out there that we found. And it is also uh, possible to use it uh, safely long term. There are, um, sorry, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> um, there are products out there, uh, both ordinary wound dressings based on cellulose and then and the cos, uh, casino, uh, calcium alginate uh, and also collagen, where you have added uh, silver ions or PHMB to provide an antimicrobial effect, which would be good in use uh, when treating uh, uh, chronic wounds. However, the problem with uh, adding that is that you're restricting the, uh, the ability to, to uh, use it for longer periods of time, because both silver, which is, citotox sorry, which is toxic, and PHMB, which is carcinogenic, limits the ability of using it for a longer period of time. And of course, these, uh, uh, these substances or these molecules are, are not uh, showing any cell proliferative effects. Uh, our technology can also be used for, for ant, uh, other um, indications, and we are currently in out-licensing discussions with other companies uh, for instance, within, uh, for using uh, our peptides in developing new, new types of implants. Now, uh, we are seeking investment in order to bring this groundbreaking product into the market, uh, aiming to dramatically improve patient outcomes and, of course, to reduce the enormous healthcare burden which is out there uh, treating these chronic wound patients. And to do this, uh, we're initially seeking now 2 million euros. And this will enable us to uh, perform all the background work to uh, submit an FDA application uh, under the 510K um, policy. Uh, that'll take us probably about two years from now to get an approval. Uh, we have an expert cons consultancy firm in the US uh, saying that there is a 98% probability of us getting through with this. Uh, and this without doing a clinical trial, actually, and the cost for that. Uh, in parallel, we also want to uh, launch uh, the same product, but under a different brand name, in this case, in this case proposed to be Vetcol Plus, into the pet and equine markets. And the regulatory uh, analysis that our experts have done shows that we can do this without uh, any specific approvals, both in the US and in the EU, because it's a medical uh, device. Um, and after having it launched there, which means that we also will need to build up a marketing organization in the company, which is not there at the moment, uh, we will also try to uh, get the approvals to uh, launch the product into the herd animal and veterinary market, which is um, regulated because it's, it's food production we're talking about. Uh, as I mentioned before, we are also uh, into uh, out-licensing out -licensing discussions with other medical device companies. But in order to conclude those, uh, it has been apparent to us that we need to do some further uh, characterization of the peptides that we found in the, collo uh, in the collo uh, collagen 6. Uh, but they, um, the, the end idea is to bring out a licensing ag uh, agreement with those partners using our peptide platform. So this company is not only a research company trying to get a product out in the human care market. We can already today uh, actually generate revenues had we had the um, sales and marketing resources uh, within uh, animal wound care. Uh, we also have the ability to sign out licensing deals, uh, maybe not tomorrow, but uh, in, in the near term future anyway. But then on the longer term horizon, we have the ability of, of uh, uh, selling uh, the Wooncom product uh, into the human care market. And the idea from our side is to find a, 
um, global partner to do this. And uh, off the record, I can tell you, we are already in discussions with a number of these uh, large medtech companies involved in the advanced wound care market. Uh, and in order to support both the development, uh, sorry, the, the market access for within human care, uh, we also have, uh, but as, and as well as the out licensing part, we have uh, patents um, uh, supporting our uh, standing in the market. We have three patent families and we have patents already approved in Europe, the USA and China. Thank you. We have lots of questions for you. Oh. Let's see how many we can do before it's time for coffee. But first of all, um, uh, do you have durable response, like wound not opening up again? Uh, from uh, animals, absolutely. In vivo, we've done this uh, with very good results on horses uh, and cats, especially showing what you just uh, asked. Her. Yeah. What are your clinical study endpoints and at what time point? Well, since we are currently uh, not um, doing a, a clinical study, it's hard to say, because our idea is to, to get a, a 510K application uh, 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 approved in the US, uh, which hopefully will not need us to have the uh, clinical trial being made, which is a very costly thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as costly as in the pharma sector, but still costly for being medtech. Okay, speaking of the US, why do you start with Wooncom in the US and not in Europe? Mm, very good question. Um, now, advanced wound care products are available all around, uh, are used all around the world. But if we look specifically at the collagen market, um, which is where we would start, 40% of all the collagen is used in the US market. Uh, another uh, 20, 25 percent are used in the Middle East, which are in most cases also allowing a FDA-approved product being sold there. So by getting the 510K, we could probably cover somewhere around 65 percent of the world market. Europe is just another 10 percent on top of that, unfortunately. Okay. How do you plan to reach the market on estimated peak sales? Well, again, uh, first of all, we're trying to reach the veterinary market. As I said initially, it's a half a billion market globally, uh, and we will do that as soon as we get the uh, current fundraising round in place. And then long term, after getting the FDA approval, uh, hopefully within a two year time frame, uh, we will have also had a deal made with one of the major global uh, companies uh, uh, being present in the, the advanced wound care market. Mm -hmm. uh, someone wants to know, have you performed clinical animal studies or only preclinical animal studies? Um, I really don't know what the difference is between those, but yes, we are definitely uh, involved in, in working with real veterinarians out there uh, doing uh, or, or treating real horses with real wounds. Uh, we've done the same thing with cats, dogs, and even actually one bird, an EMU, with the Skornes Jurpark. Uh, with good results, I must say. I think that answers the question about the, the difference also. Real animals have been involved. Mm. Um, have you considered using peptides to deactivate membrane-type viruses? Uh, we have many ideas on, on how to use the, uh, the peptides. But with the extremely limited uh, bandwidth that we have, we're just an organization of three people. Uh, it has so far only become a, a, a hypothesis for using it to, to kill other uh, or penetrate other membranes. Yeah. I have to say, if we're just doing two weeks on the job, you have a lot of answers <laughs> to a lot of questions. So let's have one more before we have a little bit of uh, coffee. How does your offer differ from other companies? And I don't think I will mention, but there have been some comparisons. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, um, the product as such is uh, unique, as I said before, because it has not only an antimicrobial effect, it also has a cell proliferative effect, uh, which is totally unique in this market. Uh, and by having, uh, as I said before, the, the, the competitors or colleagues out there, their products are, if they're, they're top of the, the pop, 
um, they're using silver ions or PHMB or something similar. And what I've seen so far is that they are all um, limited in their usage time because of the cytotoxicity, sorry, yeah, the cytotoxicity of those uh, uh, added components. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for answering the questions. I think you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you.